Hi, welcome. Today we will talk about uh, Matthew Perry. Yes, the actor. Uh, Matthew Perry was a French star and um, he has found that on the last week. So uh, it was shocking for me because uh, I saw all the episodes of Friends and Chandler Bing was my of, one of my favorite roles. And uh, we still don't know what happened uh, with him. This is being investigated and um, probably something related to an art attack or drowning at his jacuzzi we don't know so um, in a few months probably we will know what happened with him so uh, a little bit about his uh, history biography well uh, he is born at um, canada and uh, matthew perry this is his first year, and uh, uh, on the beginning of his life, uh, he, he, he born at USA and he has raised in Canada. Uh, but later he, um, he went to USA to pursue his acting career. Um, about his success with friends, of course, uh, he has been on the series from the beginning until the end. Uh, so he has done 10 seasons from 94 until 2004. Uh, so he has gained a lot of popularity, but with the popularity, we have uh, the uh, drug related issues and the alcoholism so because of that we will see several um wealth uh, problems uh, he will have uh, depressions this kind of stuff and because of that on his later years he will uh, do some activism right now he was doing that and personal challenges to help the other persons with the same issues, with the same de dependencies uh, to deal with their uh, problems. So, okay, let's jump to our game. But before that, did you know that almost 87% of the viewers isn't subscribed? Why don't you like me? I need your help. And if each one of you uh, subscribes to the channel, I will be able to continue producing content every day. From last week, we started doing shorts and we are doing long form content every day. So we are putting out two videos just for you and everything is good for your improvement. So if you want to improve faster, if you want to be a master, don't forget, please subscribe push the like button it's always good to, to the algorithm and uh, if you want to continue receiving all uh, the videos uh, you can always push the notifications on any critics any suggestion you can always put on the comments below or talk with me by chess.com my nickname is dark underline attack so let's jump to our game so uh, for me it was shocking to know that matthew perry played chess and uh, about his chess career, um, he has made two official uh, presidential games uh, and um, most of his games were made by email. So uh, uh, they were correspondence chess uh, games, but they were official games. So he has uh, played, I think, 48 official games and this one is his best game. So he will start with the Hati. And after d6, g3, this is everything normal. And he will transpose to the English opening. So this is uh, quite a positional opening. It's very interesting to see that Matthew Perry, prob probably he, he played official games by email because of his career, I think. Uh, because probably it was difficult for him to, pray, to play presidential games. But even though we see that uh, Matthew Perry had the fundamentals of the opening, he knew where to put his pieces, and you're going to see that his plans um, were correct. In this game, he, he, he played very, very well. Because here he will continue with d3 to prevent the advancing of the pawn. And after knight c6, here he will continue with knight c3. This is the best approach in my opinion, because after bishop g4, bishop g5, of course, this is the most aggressive uh, move. And for now, everything is normal. The, the game is equal. Uh, 
black are playing correctly, white is playing correctly, but what is the plan for, for uh, Matthew Perry? It's quite simple. Matthew Perry wants to enter this square with the knight, but this knight is protecting. So because of this, of course, black will play at checks, and after this, he will exchange the bishop for the knight with the idea of entering with the knight on d5. This is correct. I, I like a lot this move because now uh, black needs to try to arrange a way of giving rid of this knight. And okay, it's uh, it's doable. It's simple to do that, but uh, it's already a problem that needs to be solved for black. So because of this. I like, I like this move a lot. So, black continued with rook c8, and for me, this is ugly. Uh, it doesn't make uh, any sense, because, well, when we play the rooks, we want to put the rooks on open files. And it's not clear that the rook here will be opened, because even if knight plays to e7, I will exchange, the, the pawns near the king will be completely broken. And after that, I don't need to, to open the game. I, I, I can still continue uh, expecting to see what black wants to do, what wants to play. So for this reason, probably, I don't know, but uh, rook b8 probably is most correct or, or even different stuff. For, why not uh, rook e8, uh, this kind of stuff, a5 to prevent b4. Uh, I think the, it, it would, would be better for black. So here black has continued with rook c8 and after e3, okay, this isn't the best move for white, but it isn't mistake too. So, uh, in my opinion, rook b, um, b1 to continue with b4 makes a, a lot of sense. Uh, even h3 to get rid of this bishop, I think makes sense too. Uh, the problem with e3 is that, okay, exists e4. And after e4, this game is complicated because if e4, okay, d takes, bishop takes, uh, and um, I don't know, this is a double-edged game because the the central pawns are, are broken. And even probably we have different stuff too. For example, knight e5 and this knight is pinned. So this would be interesting for black. But the thing is that black has continued with a5. So a5 has the idea to prevent the move of b4. And after queen b3, I wouldn't play that. I, I enjoy a lot this move. So rook b1, a3 and b4 because the advancing doesn't exist because of the presence of the king, the queen, sorry. And uh, even though uh, I don't, don't enjoy a lot this move this is interesting because this is creating problems to the blacks player so uh, after queen b3 what is the idea the idea is that we are attacking the b7 square and probably the best idea is just to play rook to b8 but yeah black has played b6 and uh, okay this is playable but uh, it's important to be careful with this knight because this knight is, is not being protected by any piece. And because of that, now we know that this bishop has potential. And Matthew Perry has played B, uh, knight to d2. And the idea is quite simple. He wants to exchange the knight for the bishop and after queen takes, bishop takes knight, giving three, uh, winning three points. So this is very good for white. So here black has played bishop g5. In my opinion, this loses a tempo because uh, white can continue with h4 or even f4, but h4 probably it's easier to play. Uh, so instead of playing this, probably I would play bishop to e7. It's more solid. So uh, after this, Matthew Perry has played knight to e4. It's interesting too, because first is a, a central pawn. Two is creating pressure to the bishop. Three. These ideas continue to exist. So, of course, black has continued in a terrible way. Knight to a7. Well, this isn't good because uh, when black plays knight e7, okay, uh, Vittoria has, uh, has pushed the knight to a safe square, but the knight isn't doing nothing here on a7. So he, uh, she lateralized the knight. So we don't, not, we don't want to do this kind of stuff. Uh, for example, 
probably better would be to play knight e7 because as central uh, plants for example if knight takes i can take with the bishop if knight takes i can take with the uh, with the pawn so everything is well in my opinion so uh after this oh, of course here matthew perry is already better but we need to see if he sees the best approach for white so he has continued with f4 very aggressive a dynamic a dynamic move with a lot of potential and of course he is exploring the facts that the bishop on g5 doesn't have a lot of squares to play so this continued with bishop e7 of course if pawn uh, had taken this would be uh, very complicated for black because of the fact that f5 f6 can be played and even f5 with f6 for black it's complicated because those knights have a lot of potential for example the knight can play here and this is a very big problem and i can continue with rook to for example e1 so here matthew perry would be completely one so this continued with bishop e7 and after f5 matthew perry is playing a lot so black continued with f6 the idea and after c5 for me this move shows the potential that matthew perry had to play the chess uh, this is a brilliant sacrifice because the idea is quite simple the queen is at b3 and the king is at g8 so after this advance he is threatening to win a piece he's threatening to win all and uh, just to show after this advance if pawn takes this is terrible because even this is good of course and even this move is good because this bishop can fall too so uh, this is a very strong move so here vittoria is completely lost so it's something about one point and uh, well he had played rook to uh, sorry king to h8 and after that of course pawn takes pawn takes and queen takes and the thing is that Matthew Perry has one material with that, one pawn. This continued with queen takes and knight takes. And after rook plays to c2 to try to play to the 7. Uh, here it's important to see uh, alternatives. Of course, if the rook had played to b8, this would be a blunder because of knight d7. Because of this, okay, the entering of the rook on c2, uh, sorry, is uh, makes stands and here we need to see what matthew perry has played and uh, for me okay uh, we have h3 and after bishop p2 uh, black has some counterplay but okay rook can play to c1 uh, it's complicated because the rook can take it's it's a complicated game um, and he has played knight to d5 I like the plan because, okay, the knight has done what he could and uh, now he is threatening to take the bishop. Of course, because of that, the rook do doesn't want to take the pawn. So this continued with bishop to e8, worsening the black's position because now this rook is closed by the bishop. And uh, right now he can take more material. Knight takes d6. So he is winning by two points. Of course, here Vittoria has taken the pawn. And after that, he played knight to c4. And he is trying to win stuff because the knight is threatening to take the rook. So here Vittoria continued with rook b8. And after that, of course, rook f2. Yes, it, this isn't the best move, but okay, probably bishop e4 to defend the pawn uh, because this is a plan the bishop can recover material so because of this probably i would play uh, bishop to e4 uh, but okay matthew has seen that and probably because of that he has played rook to f2 any problem or error i think he is playing quite well this game so this continued with knight to c6 and here uh, matthew perry continued with h3 after bishop h5, it's the only move. He has played the knight to d6. And uh, I think 
I, I, I don't understand very well this move, but I think probably he was thinking about improving his position. Trying to play, for example, knight to e4. I don't know, probably the idea was that. Uh, in my opinion, if you are winning on material, in this case, white is winning by one full point, uh, one clean point, uh, we can always simplify the position. For example, this bishop is very bad, so we can advance g4, and after, for example, bishop to f7, we can continue this with bishop e4 again, uh, or even rook to, I don't know, rook d2 or rook d1 to try to open the center. Of course, if bishop takes, bishop takes. Everything is well. And the thing is that black doesn't have counterplay. So here he has played that, and after knight to d7, uh, he has played rook to c2. So another good uh, move, because you want to push your rooks to open files. So the game is, all, uh, is finishing. And uh, here, black has taken, and after bishop takes, he has, uh, she has uh, made this move. Bishop to e7. Uh, so here, Matthew Perry will continue with knight e4. The idea of playing knight e6 was to play knight e4. And after rook plays to d8, here uh, he will continue with, uh, in my opinion, with a mistake, but... Because of the fact that we can play knight c3, but okay, bishop c4 isn't so bad, but uh, uh, okay, prevents the loss of the pawn. Here, Vittoria continued with rook, and after knight f2, uh, of course, the end game is dubious, but well, the opening and the middle game of Matthew Perry uh, was great, in my opinion. So here, Vittoria has continued with knight to c7. And here, Matthew Perry has uh, made this move. Bishop to b3 and Vittoria has resigned from the game. So, of course, it's strange because uh, Matthew Perry has won this game. And if we analyze, if we evaluate this, uh, this game, the game is completely equal. <laughs> But Vittoria has assumed that uh, she was completely lost. But uh, that's not true. Because after, for example, rook takes, bishop takes. Yes, it's true. Uh, Matthew Perry is winning by one point. But uh, this is playable because of bishop c5. After, for example, moves like rook to e, uh, e1 or even g4. Uh, here, bishop f7, and the thing is that it isn't easy to continue this position with white because here, okay, knight d1, or probably he would do this move, and after that, bishop can take on a2, and the game is equal. And even if he plays knight to d1, those two pieces are strange, so. Uh, here, black can continue to try to open everything with h5 or g6. So, uh, here, Vittoria has uh, a lot of counterplay, but um, okay, uh, she didn't see the, the counterplay, and because of that, she resigned. It makes sense. So, as you are seeing, Matthew Perry was a strong chess player. So, 48 official games by email. It's a good level, and almost 1,500 of rating. Now we need to see the precision of this game. What was the precision? Well, let's go. Let's see. Uh, and talking about the precision, this was a good game, because white has played with 87.4, and black has played with 87.8 <laughs> Vittoria D'Aragona has played uh, better uh, with a blunder of course but let's see about the precision uh, okay 24 uh, 2100 and black 2100 uh, in the opening 95.2 for uh, Matthew and 97.5 for Vittoria on the middle game 84.4 to 83.8 and the middle game yeah we don't have nothing because they uh, they have uh, drew the, the game so I hope you, you enjoyed this video I think this is very interesting because uh, Matthew Perry was a celebrity, was an actor, and we've already done the, the video about um, 
uh, Schwarzenegger and uh, Mike Tyson. Uh, and it's a shame that uh, Matthew Perry has uh, found that. But I think it's always good to celebrate uh, his life. And um, I want to finish this video to, um, to um, uh, be uh, always uh, thinking about the fact that this kind of player, uh, he was successful on his life. Of course, he had uh, dependencies, uh, problems, uh, drug-related issues, but this guy finishes his life uh, helping the others to solve uh, their problems. So this is important. So Matthew, rest in, ple in peace. And um, for um, about the rest of the games, if you want to see more content about him, I can always uh, put on the comments uh, with some links, or even I can uh, do another video about uh, another games of him. So I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow we will be here at the same hour. If you are still seeing this video, thank you a lot for all uh, of the help uh, because I'm doing the content just for you. Thank you a lot. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>